guys, Mama Nessa here with another five for five. What is a Buddha bowl? Well, Buddha bowls are referred to as glory or hippie bowls. Um, they're made with different various greens, raw roasted veggies, beans, proteins, you know, that kind of stuff. They're uber healthy and super cheap. The best part that I like about having Buddha bowls and making them is because they're so simple to make and they're jam packed with all sorts of good stuff. They are healthy, they're great for weight loss, and they're awesome. So today's grocery total came out to a total of $4.20. I have reduced fat ground pork, edamame, broccoli, and the optional romaine lettuce were all used in this recipe. Because Buddha bowls are so flexible, you can see that I've used leftovers and my pantry staples to add to this meal. You can do the same. First step is washing your rice or your romaine lettuce if you're going for a low carb option. As you can see here, I do have my brown rice in a small bowl with some hot water. I find that the hot water does rinse all the dirt and the impurities and any debris that is on the rice grains pretty well. This is the first time I rinsed it. As you can see, the water is kind of cloudy and dirty and you see floating debris. The second rinse, the water is a little bit lighter and clearer, so it is good to go to put in my rice cooker to cook. So I have my edamame sitting in a bowl of hot water so that they could defrost and I can shell them. Um, you can steam them in a bag, but since I'm going to roast them in the oven, this is a little bit easier to and quicker to um, get done what needs to be done. My broccoli has been defrosted. I'm going to sprinkle some garlic powder on the broccoli, hand toss it, and then add it over here along with my purple onion which I've sliced. You can either slice them thinner than this or have nice big chunks. They're all going to be grilled so it'll all be okay. I also have my one sweet potato that I have diced. I did not season it at all but I did season the onions with pepper. So here, since my rice is still going, I'm going to shell my edamame. You can either put them back in the bowl or you can put them off to the side. I have a cutting board underneath, so either or is perfectly fine. If you're wondering how to pop edamame out of the shell, start at the top where it makes a smile. Place your fingers at the top and pinch, pinch, pinch pinch. Casualty. So I've lightly salted the edamame, put garlic on the broccoli, nothing on the sweet potatoes because they'll caramelize and get nice and delicious. Same with the onions, I put a little pepper on them because when they caramelize, they'll also get sweet, nice, and delicious. So I have all of my vegetables on a pan that I've lightly oiled with a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm going to pop them in the oven on broil, which is at 500, and I will check on them intermittently to make sure that none of them burn. I say at about the two minute mark, go through and kind of swirl them around and flip them to make sure that none of them burn and then I'll check back with you in a little bit. So I've taken them out and I'm stirring them around just to make sure that everything gets evenly cooked and roasted even though these are already cooked. These just need to be heated and so do these. These need to be cooked. So and I, I kind of like my vegetables to have a nice caramel color. Sorry for the shadow guys. So I'm, I'm going to stir them around and I'm going to put them back in. Alright, so I have my ground pork in the pan with my uh, garlic. 
my fresh minced garlic. I have ground ginger. So I'm just going to lightly sprinkle it on top. And start to break up my meat. I will be back once this is cooked. have been removed I put my meat over in a bowl with some paper towel to drain some of the extra fat my brown rice is done Ooh, so steamy now I've put about two and a half tablespoons of peanut butter into my pan and I'm going to make the peanut butter ginger sauce that's gonna be drizzled on top of the Buddha bowl all right, so I have about two tablespoons of peanut butter in here with about half a cup of water. You can add more water if you like your sauce thinner or less. Add your ginger. And stir. So I have my brown rice over on this side. I have my um, broccoli, my sweet potato, and my edamame. Um, next, I will put some of the pork, which I kind of like mine over in a corner. I do about two tablespoons, maybe two tablespoons and a half so I can get my serving size. And then, I move my gracious bowl over. Looks good, doesn't it, guys? Um, I like a few pieces of onion, so I'll just put a couple of grilled pieces of onion right along in there. And then I have my peanut sauce on. I've already been serving my kids, so it's been used. But I have my peanut sauce. And I'm just going to do a drizzle all over everything. and call it a day. 